Hey guys, uh, Rollo here. Welcome to the Thunderdome. Only joking. Welcome to part two of Rollo's Bite Size Basics, where we're going to be talking about um, blocking in, blocking in shapes. We've talked about um, the thumbnailing process. Um, and do you remember in the last video um, I talked about how people say, well, where do you start? And I want to talk about how I start with blocking in shapes. Um, I've I've kept this up. I apologise for my for my filming rig. It's not the best, but I'm working on uh, getting a better filming rig up here. But hopefully you can see what's going on here. Um, so some some artists can kind of just go straight in. So once they've done all the kind of like you know working out the composition and everything, they can just go straight in and start drawing. I like to start from a visual foundation um, and build up from there. Uh, and so. I like to block in shapes and, and start really, really loose. Okay, so this is this is the original piece. I'm just going to set that to one side because I just want to show you um, how to start with blocking in. Okay, so first up, um, pencil grip. Okay, so I I um, I really like to keep things loose at this design stage, in the blocking in stage, in the thumbnailing stage. Um, and when you when you hold your pencil like this, okay. It's great for when you want to concentrate on uh, keeping the line tight, you know, working on details um, and having more control of that line. But this is your arc of movement, okay? So it's pretty sort of limiting. Okay, when you change your grip up to something like this, um, this becomes your arc of movement, okay? And so when you're keeping things loose at the design stage and when you're blocking in shapes, um, it's it's really really super handy. Okay, this is um, I don't know if you can see this, but this is a clutch pencil that I use, um, and I've used this. Oh, I've had this for years. Uh, it's Faber and Castell, I think it is. I think that says, um, and it's got. A, if you haven't seen a clutch pencil before, it's got a button at the top. Okay, so if you keep keep that in, it um, you can slide out the the um, the nib or the, the lead. Um, as long or as short as you want. Okay, so it's kind of handy when you're, you know, you're keeping it loose and you've got your grip like this, you've got a long lead. Okay, so thinking back to that, that piece of where I had the characters on the bottle, I'm going to start blocking in some shapes um, and I'm just going to show you how I do that. Okay. So I just wanted to show you how I would have started um, the blocking in um, phase of that piece. This is the original one that I did and it's always good to bear in mind the form of the shape when you're blocking in. Okay, um, So I've given myself a nice solid foundation so I can build upon it, a nice solid drawing foundation there. Um, and I will pretty much hold or have this grip um, right up until the sort of the last minute. I think I've, I've talked about that before. And going back to part one in the thumbnailing stage, absolutely keep it loose, nice and loose with a grip like this. Okay. Um, so yeah, this is the, the the kind of the blocking in stage. I'm 
going to show you um, all of my drawing processes going forward. Um, so each piece that I work on now, I'm going to be filming, you're going to be seeing it from start to finish. Um, so you'll see a lot more of this. Okay, so I hope you got something out of it. Um, thanks for showing up. Lovely to have you here and we'll meet over in uh, my next drawing process videos when I will start going through the next piece that I'm drawing. Okay, cheers guys. <laughs>